Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenzi und you're watching Get Germanized, the detailed Rammstein analysis. Rammstein is, uh, well, the self-titled album by Rammstein, the new one. Uh, today with my fabulous guest, um, vocalist extraordinaire, Canadian <laughs> and history nerd Jessalyn. Hello. Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get So yeah, we have uh, well listened to the album. We have all seen the videos uh, and discussed the videos. Uh, well, for Deutschland and Radio, there's actually a new video out for Ausländer that I have just brushed over. Um, but I've listened to all the songs. Obviously, Jesslyn has as well. I think Jesslyn, you have seen the whole video, right? About Ausländer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll start in order. Well, maybe. I mean, we'll still give our opinion on Deutschland, even if it's the first song and we've discussed it in a, well, separate video. If you're interested in a detailed analysis for this song and the video, you can check out the video. It's going to be linked in the video description of this video. And uh, same with, uh, well, Radio is down at the moment because they copyright striked it. But I, I will try to get that up and running again because we put too much work in it for it not to be online. Let's start with like the general impression that we had while first listening to the entire album. Like, honestly, what did you think? Like, uh, don't sugarcoat anything. Yeah, so what I thought of the album, um, it was different than the other Rammstein albums that I've heard. Um, I found that the music was, I guess the style was different, a lot more musically. But I think when I first heard Deutschland, that was a really good song, like as far as I was concerned in its composition. Uh, the rest of the songs, it took me a little bit to warm up to. But uh, I think now now they've, they've gotten more stuck in my head and more catchy. And I think I've got just had to get used to it more, especially after hearing Deutschland. I, I, I guess I was expecting something different. I don't know about the rest of the album, but... Overall, I think it's it is a good album. It just wasn't what I expected. Yeah, I mean, pretty much what I thought too. Uh, you have listened to every song how many times? Do you think, like, the, or the album as a whole? Oh, I don't know anymore. I've gotten to the point that I've already more or less know what song is playing based on the first notes that start. So. Oh really? <laughs> Because I have only yeah. listened to every. Uh, like to to like the album uh, as a whole twice maybe or three times max like Deutschland obviously in oh. radio uh, I have listened to multiple times many times especially Deutschland but the rest of the songs uh, I wanted to do this actually so that I could just give a general impression at first as well and, and just have yeah. this unbiased kind of opinion uh, first impression opinion because I know that if I listen to them more I will like them more as well because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's always the case yeah, exactly. um, but from from listening to everything just a couple of times uh, yeah I, I expected a bit more as well especially after listening to Deutschland which was just fantastic and the, the video was excellent and everything about it I, I pretty much liked so um, mm -hmm. when I then listen to songs like uh, well we'll talk about that more later but like Ausländer is okay I thought or uh, what was the other one that I wasn't very impressed with we'll talk about that later anyway I want to go into detail <laughs> so bad already but uh, yeah uh, I don't know at first uh, I was a bit like hmm yeah this is a solid album it's good but it's not their best work uh, by any means, I didn't think at least. Um, if every song was on the level of Deutschland, maybe, maybe, maybe then. It was pretty hard to follow. I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I wonder sometimes, did they, I mean, they, they definitely got the hype up and probably also the sales. So that in that um, uh, regard, it was a good choice to do that. But I don't know. Uh, I guess every band does it like that, right? They wouldn't start off with a weaker song and then follow up with something yeah. great. They need to build the hype, so I understand. Anyway, um, all in all, good album, I think, but uh, yeah, not my favorite necessarily. So far, like I said, I've only listened to it a couple of times, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely in the past been other albums from other, even other bands that I've listened to where I, I, the first time listening through, I'm not so sure. And then after a few times, I'm like, oh man, I actually really like this. And then afterward, it's, yeah, becomes a good album. It's, it's magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music magic. Well, <clears throat> okay, then we will now go through, well, the different songs step by step, 
the first one is obviously Deutschland. And like we said, we were really impressed with it so far. Um, one of my favorites. I think most of it has been said. Uh, what is the length? It's one of the longest songs of the album as well. I think it's five minutes, 22 seconds, and the others are four minutes mostly. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, the video itself is also, I think, 10 minutes long, but that's because they also have like intro and outro mm. stuff going on too. Yeah, so that that sticks yeah. out. Okay, radio we have discussed as well. Um, solid song, but mm, I wasn't too impressed with it, to be honest. It's okay. I think it grew on me a bit more um, once I started, I guess, listening to it more. But I, like I said, I think the problem is that I it's following right after yeah. Deutschland. So I'm just like... <laughs> and it's very different as well, the style, right? So mm -hmm. the lyrics in radio were not anywhere near as in-depth. Or maybe, I mean, we made an entire video about it, talking about the different meanings, what could be. But I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if everything we interpreted into it is actually... Uh, what they wanted us to think about it. I think it's more, uh, I don't know, more on the nose. Or what What do you think? It, it could be. I don't know, because, I mean, I also, like, we go into it also knowing the other songs that they've written with other albums and the type of themes they touch upon. So it's just, like, it's hard to know. Like, is this is it, is what we're seeing what we're actually getting? Or is there a lot more to it? Or I don't know. So it's like I didn't want to, like, jump to a conclusion immediately because who knows, maybe... Upon the, you know, maybe next time I listen to it, I'll notice something different. Like, oh, wait a second, that's actually really good. Yeah, but um, also from <laughs> from other shows and and uh, not like music necessarily, but like music too. But uh, whenever fans mm -hmm. get these crazy theories up. Uh, and then later maybe write Reddit posts about it and stuff like that. And the actual producers of that art piece are looking at that and they're like, oh, damn. Uh, eighty percent of what you're saying is wrong, but you got something right, and oh, I didn't even know that was like a connection there. And maybe they even discovered something that they weren't intending to portray with it, but that just I know happened. Yeah. And fans have the craziest ideas sometimes, so it's really difficult, as you said, to say what the artist really wanted us to think sometimes. Well, yeah, I mean that, that that's the difficult thing with interpreting art. Like I had this too with when interpreting in English literature. I would look at something from one perspective, and then my professor would look at my assumption or my my analysis and be like, "Well, that's not at all what I was thinking." And yeah, then you have no idea, and then you can't actually talk to the author. So yeah, well, that's the nice thing about art, though. It's all like, yeah, what you make of it, really. <laughs> then we come to one of my favorite songs, the third one actually, "Zeig dich." I liked. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think about it? That was a good one. The, the themes was also something that I've come to expect, I think, from Rob. Oh, yeah, for sure. With uh, the priests and, and stuff. Yeah. 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 And uh, I did also like the Latin intro kind of build up that they started with. It like kind of sets the theme of what they're discussing. Yeah, that was cool. Very epic right off the bat. Yeah, it was. I am looking forward to that video, actually. I wonder what they will do with it. I hope something cool so that we can, well, watch it and analyze it. So, yeah, the lyrics of the, that song start with Ex Mustamos Crucifixus. <laughs> I'm not sure if... <laughs> is that actually real Latin? Yeah, I think it might be. Maybe let's leave that out and just talk about what we can uh, read. Okay, so after this Latin part that we can't read, it starts with Verlangen, Verfluchen, so demand and curse. Verdammen, Versuchung, so damn and... Um, Versuchung is a temptation. In this sense, with like the theme of video in mind, it makes sense that they would uh, put temptation in here as well, like uh, mm -hmm. damn, uh, condemn, or and then temptation. The next song is Ausländer, so foreigner. I think many people expected this song to be about the uh, to be about the refugee crisis. I'm not sure how many people are disappointed or relieved now that it's not about that. I'm not sure. Uh, do you think Rammstein should have made it about the refugee crisis or no? I don't think so. Um, I think it would be just too easy of, uh, and also at the same time, it would all like it would be too easy in the sense that as a theme, it's so obvious yeah. to people. Um, but I think um, there's no, I don't, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's not like you could have a bunch of double meanings into this, and without then, of course, then as a band, giving yourself a political position. Yes. And I don't think they want so that. I think no. it's no. I think that's not so much their style to directly 
align themselves with something or someone people expect that these days though like they they desperately mm -hmm. need to know where you stand on things so that they can put you in your little corner and uh, say ah oh, i either yeah. hate that person or i like that person uh, and it's so sad yeah. i don't know it's, it's like nothing else matters anymore just if someone is like especially in the us like left or right or yes i agree yeah. it, and it's, it's tiring it's so tiring that so they, they want you want you to be something yeah. So I think what it is is people, yeah, they want to label you and then put you in a package and then they can determine whether or not they're going to throw you in the garbage, even yeah. though they forget that nuance exists and we can still be friends and disagree. Yeah, exactly. It's not all black and white in this world, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But many people don't see it that way or don't want to see it that way. I'm not sure. But I think that's one of the reasons why Rammstein didn't make this song about the refugee crisis. Uh, maybe they, they can't be bothered with like joining in that whole thing i don't know yeah well, i don't think it would even add much to the conversation i think i think they would only serve to suffer from trying to put forth a song like that because i mean it, with songs like say deutschland they can talk about german history and talk about this whole um uh, general national shame i guess over what's happened yeah and that's acceptable with the other songs talking about uh child abuse in in the church is not a secret yeah. definitely something that i think everyone can get behind and say should have never happened but then when it comes to i think that the title itself was meant to be or intended to be inflammatory calling it auslander because then everyone's like "Ooh, what's this going to be about it's going to be like you know my political opinion opinion or their political opinion and then it wasn't about anyone's political opinion yeah um And I think Rammstein uh, or many, many extremists are a bit disappointed with this new uh, album that Rammstein represent, uh, presented, especially mm -hmm. just stupid things. We discussed this before. I've gotten so many comments on my channel by, uh, well, I have, to, I have to say it. It's just those people commented, right? Most likely right wing mm -hmm. extremists. I don't say every person who is right wing is an extremist or a Nazi or anything like that. I've never mm -hmm. meant that at all because people have said, oh, I'm, I'm a right winger, but I'm not a Nazi. How dare you? But that's not what I meant anyway. Maybe I chose my mm -hmm. words poorly. I don't even know what I said exactly anymore, but I didn't mean that. But those comments came from right wing extremists for sure. They were just so upset that Uh, Rammstein chose a black actress and stuff like that and oh they got cucked I, I won't listen to them anymore bah and I'm like really dude well, they, they show the buzzwords out like say other beat they got cucked and like yeah. well from what I understand what that word means it doesn't even apply here like it's, yeah they're it's, stupid yeah. I mean those people are idiots just that's yeah. just it just pay, no, pay them no mind they 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 troll somewhere under a bridge and that's just uh, everything in the world has its place and some of them are under a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> some people belong there. Anyway, uh, let's not <laughs> stay on that <laughs> for too long. Yeah. But um, Ausländer, the song itself and the lyrics. This song talks about, uh, well, a foreigner who travels and... Uh, is at home uh, everywhere in the world basically and his language is international it also talks about flirting with foreign women specifically a lot i don't actually know what that is all yeah. about but uh if you know typical reference. yeah yeah but if you know the video it makes a bit more sense i suppose uh, since they is chose a historical topic of the colonization in africa i guess mm -hmm. or of like tribes back in the day it sounds like it's it's kind of Well, actually, when you compare it to the like the the musical element, like there's this really typical um, keyboard. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what the word's called, but it's like when um, uh, when there's kind of a build up, and it's a very typical party beat. Well, you'll hear in like every club, nightclub, somewhere for any random artist that just has some sort of chart music that's played in mm. bars. Um, they have the same build up. It's like, and like they're saying things. Actually, I think there was one term where they're talking about fire and stuff like that and the whole like there's this whole like theme that was around for a bunch of party bar songs where it was like tonight's the last night live it like your last and then some keyboard build up before a drop and then it was yeah i'm not sure if this song is very deep uh but no. it doesn't look like it i don't think it really because from I mean, the sound of it definitely like you said it's a party song it's more like ben auslander doo -doo, and stuff like that right yeah auslander, yeah so i don't know it, it's very straightforward maybe they just wanted to do something different and a little bit more cheerful i think it's like the story of like some kind of party animal that likes traveling and partying with people and flirting and 
Do you think some foreigners would be offended because of the, for example, the German um, at the end, du kommen mit, ich, ich dir machen gut, <laughs> something like that, like... Yeah, oh yeah, like the, like, yeah, the improper German. Yeah, yeah, basically how you would imagine a very, well, a foreigner that doesn't speak German very well at all would try to flirt very clumsy and like a bit... To be honest, yeah. like off putting, uh, even uh, <laughs> to come and meet you, you're making good basically. Like, yeah. uh, I'll do it good yeah. to you, or something like that. I'll do you good. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as a foreigner living in Germany, I can say it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just wondering. I, of course, I I can't speak for everybody though. Um, I don't know if someone might be offended, but I don't think he's trying to, at least, I don't think he's trying to pinpoint any particular foreigner. I think it's just like the songs written in German and anyone could write it in their own language and then have a poorly constructed grammatical flirting bit at yeah. the end. I mean, pe people get yeah. offended about anything, so... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah, I can't say too much. Like, I'm not offended, but I'm sure... Uh, yeah, but I mean, Rammstein doesn't give a shit about that anyway. <laughs> no, they really don't. Um, anyway, yeah, I think we can... I don't know. This song didn't impress me too much. Um... Uh, It was okay. It, it's different, but it's not my favorite on the album. I think it was just like a silly kind yeah, of Yeah, it's it's nice to have, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if it needed to be on the album, but... I mean, compared to the other stuff, Deutschland is politically, or, or at least uh, controversial, and then um, Psych Dish is pretty heavy as well for the content, and it's like kind of nice maybe to balance to not all be just like making you feel sad. Oh, and, yeah, sure. And okay. And guilty and <laughs> broken the whole time. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a song more like uh, Mainland that was kind of... Oh, hmm. That wasn't as cheerful, was it, sounding at least? No. no. But, but that one, I think, was like making fun of... I guess nationalism in a way, too, yeah. though. From what I understand with my lens, but that's a whole other Yeah, topic. anyway. <laughs> yeah, I guess the the album was pretty intense for, for, for the first three songs. Oh, radio, hmm. Radio wasn't that intense. Radio, well, I mean, I think, radio. I think it depends on the interpretation. Like, part of it's, like, talking about the whole being, feeling trapped with their, maybe, maybe their upbringing in the East or just the whole thing with propaganda, which is a... Uh, more serious or could be more serious subject maybe but not as heavy as say <clears throat> child abuse. yeah okay so i guess it's nice to have that counterbalance every now and then to to mm -hmm. lighten it a little bit the mood okay the next song is sex uh well that is sex, pretty think. yeah sex is pretty straightforward uh, the lyrics let me pull them up again the lyrics were more like just I feel a little bit, my feelings are a little bit hurt now. Like the very first sentence, I look at you and I don't feel good. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But they also have parts where they say, ich schau dir tief in das Geschlecht. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I mean, there's like looking you deep in the eyes, but this is not what nope. he's saying. I was like, oh. Nope, nope. He's looking. Yeah, it's a pretty. Yeah, deep into the, yeah. <laughs> what's it called? The Geschlecht is a formal word for genitals mm. basically he's looking deep into your genitals so, <laughs> which is really i think that's like really aggressive yeah. <laughs> even just the, if you imagine that like ah staring down that's, that's, and that's quite just the segue first he's like oh i look at you and i feel sick but i'm gonna like stare at you real hard Ooh. maybe that's when he said that <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, oh, no. it's even worse <laughs> even worse it's oh even no worse. <laughs> Self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine Till Lindemann doing that, staring down there and then saying, oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Well, this is uh, a silly song, I think. Just another, I don't know. Mm. I, th I think because it follows uh, Ausländer, maybe that is still part of it. A uh, little bit rude, a little mm. bit lighter uh, as well, topic-wise. It's yeah. sex. <laughs> Because it's, it has funny lines like Denn besser widerlich als wieder nicht. It's a wordplay. It means yeah. better disgusting than not again. Uh, not having sex once again, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. even, better to have sex than not have sex, basically. Even if it's disgusting. That's what this line is, expresses. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's much to interpret, to be honest. <laughs> I honestly don't know. You want to get demonetized if you try to <laughs> interpret it. Probably, yeah, probably. Um, 
Ja, it be- Aber es bringt uns zu, dass wir, le- wir leben nur einmal, wir lieben das Leben. Es ist like kind of like that party song theme, like what I was saying with us yeah. and her, like other like club hits. It's that we live only one time and... Yeah, basically. Oh, do you know what this song reminds me of a little bit? Because he goes like, mm. first these heavy, these heavy riffs, uh, and then sex. It sounds like some kind of oomph song. Uh, these heavy riffs, and then uh, something. I don't know. It just reminded me of it. I'm not sure if that's just me though. And they just like yell something. Yeah, basically, or Eisbrecher yeah. or something like that. Uh, yeah, which is also. Good yeah, thing. indeed it is. <laughs> indeed. Um, Heavy song, uh, riff-wise, I like it. I like the more heavy Rammstein songs, I have to admit, but uh, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's good. Next up is actually a very interesting song, Puppe. Mm-hmm. I've seen their live show for it because I've seen a video of that particular song where they have this big, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what's it called, a stroller where, they, like, where you put your kid in, your baby. Um, yeah. Like a massive one made from metal and they have like... Uh, flamethrowers that shoot like straight up into the air out of that stroller for example oh damn yeah <laughs> and he basically walks onto it with uh, uh, on on the stage with it um, and then goes on to sing well the lyrics of Puppe uh, I really like this song um, because of how different Tilt's voice is in it I think that's something many people have said about it how he experiments kind of with the voice in the in the refrain Uh, what do you in the chorus? Mm. Sorry, in the chorus, the yeah. Chorus, yeah. Uh, dann reiß ich der Puppe den Kopf ab. Dann reiß ich nicht, dann beiß ich der Puppe den Kopf ab, sagt er. Uh, he says, mm. like first he rips off the head of the puppet and then he bites off the, the head of the puppet. Anyway, in that part, his voice mm. is very different from well, what he usually does with it in other Rammstein songs. I think at least. What did you think about it? Yeah. I agree. That was something that was definitely different. Like, it surprised me a bit when I heard it. It sounded good because it's just like um, in that part of the song, if I recall correctly, there's not a lot instrumentally going on. It's just the drum. Yeah. And then he's just like this harsh screeching. Well, not screeching, but like this this raspy kind of yelling that he doesn't usually yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Good. It was definitely good different. Good that we have a vocalist here because my <laughs> vocab when it comes to describing these things is limited, especially since I'm German <laughs> uh, in, in English. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree. This raspy screaming is, is really cool. I, I like it. Let's think for a second. What is that song about? Uh, it's actually, from what I understand, it's really dark. It's actually to do with, from what I understood, child prostitution. What? Rammstein has dark songs? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what makes you think uh, that? Well, at the beginning, he's saying when my uh, sister... Dearest, I guess you call her little, not necessarily little sister, but I think maybe he means like just as an adoring way, little sister. When sister dear goes to work, I close myself into my bedroom. I got a puppet or a doll as a gift, and then I'm alone. But then when she has to go to work, she doesn't actually go with the train. Her workplace isn't far away. It's actually in the bedroom next door. Mm, okay. Yep. <laughs> You and, might be right there. And the thing is, too, like he's saying, okay, well, it's getting dark. I have to take my medicine, so the sun, and, and I don't doesn't I don't feel very good, and I just have to wait here until the sun goes down. And it sounds like the perspective of a child, like this more the simplistic nature of what he's saying. Mm. But I think like what it is is that his sister, whomever this person is to him, that she works in the next room doing likely prostitution and he just basically comforts himself with this with the dog yeah and uh, he puts out his uh, like um, how do you say that he puts all his aggression on the puppet basically he destroys it and then mm-hmm. rips it apart and stuff like that because he's so angry and frustrated maybe and uh, what makes you think that the sister is a kid well because he's calling her Schwesterlein. Yeah. like yeah. it could be that she's also a child that's what i wanted to say actually um, <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, I think if it was like his big sister, he'd call her Ven, Ven Schwester through Arbeit Muss instead of Ven Schwesterlein. Yeah. Sh- it's, it's more diminutive. Yeah, exactly. When you have the, uh, the suffix line at the end of a word mm-hmm. in German, it's mostly that's like kind of cutesified, like <laughs> kind of smaller yeah. and uh, yeah, younger, maybe even in the, in the case of the sister. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to hear your 
opinion on that because I thought the line at the end signified that. But actually, before you said it, I didn't even think about this song to be about that. I haven't read too much into it yet since I only listened to it like twice or so uh, in total as oh, well. Okay. But uh, that's what this video is for. Uh, my first impression and your detailed analysis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, I mean, I think at the end of it too, though, it gets even even more darker, if you can believe it. What? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so what happens is is um, later in the song, because he says after the chorus where he's talking about how he's not doing well and he has this medicine, I'm not doing well, and then he like gets really aggressive with his doll and he like you know rips the head off and bites the neck and stuff like that. Um, but then at one point he says like, again about her being at work and the light turns red, uh, or the light in the window is red, but he actually sees her through a keyhole. Yeah, through the schlüssel. Which means that he must be... Sp- yeah, so he's like spying from the next room. And it says, and it says, and it says, und eine schlug sie tot. Yeah. So it sounds like so, obviously a, a, a meeting gone wrong. Yeah. And I think that when he says, and jetzt reich ich der a puppet den Kopf ab, and he's like saying that it's, jetzt geht es mir gut, yeah. I'm thinking this is like him killing the person who kills his sister. Ah, that would make sense, yes. And now he feels better because he's like has this all this aggression from watching or knowing what his sister has to do in the next room. He doesn't feel good. He's not doing well with this and then she gets killed and so and he witnesses this and so he kills the person who kills her. I agree of- that is very much uh or oh, that's very likely. Um mm-hmm. I just noticed something else as well. This dumb dumb uh is in the mm-hmm. well in between the mm-hmm. the normal lyrics, right? Uh that reminds me of yeah. another song. What was that? It's it's like a I can't find the song right now that that reminds me of but that dumb dumb Dum dum mm-hmm. is something they use in Schlager, in like happy folk, German folk music, basically, this uh, pop, kind of poppy uh, German music. Do you know Schlager? Yes, I've heard Yeah, that like one. Helene Fischer <laughs> and all of that, right? People know Helene Fischer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are songs where they actually say dum dum, dum dum as well. Um, I just remembered. And if that okay. is a reference to that, that is uh, actually pretty, pretty cool. Because uh, in these songs, mostly it's all about like life being so perfect and happy and the whole Schlager world is pretty fake, actually, uh, because they never really talk about bad stuff that much. They only talk about like happy yeah. stuff. And then to have this dumb dumb in between there, it's, it's actually mm-hmm. pretty funny. Um, with it's such a dark song. That would, yeah, that would be something like I, I don't listen to that music. I have no idea. Me neither. It's for us, like, I don't know. But that would be interesting if they did that, if they, like, add this out of just, like, he's not actually happy or things really aren't all that good as you might think. And it's like this, yeah, like what you were saying, that'd be really interesting it, if that was the intention. It would be indeed. Uh, maybe uh, my viewers or our viewers can actually comment mm-hmm. on that, what they think, because that would be that would be super interesting. Yeah, but what did you think about the song? Do you like it? I do. I really do like that song. Me too. Uh, it got it got me right in the feels just because like you know you're listening to the song and like you're listening to the like the story being told and the picture in your head and you feel so bad for it and then you're like, oh damn it gets real crazy at the end and yeah that was a good one I did, I listened to it a couple times actually to realize everything that was going on because at first I was like okay don't really know and then I had to listen to it again to think about the puppet and like oh man I think this is it's getting a lot crazier than I realized <laughs> yeah I actually had to listen to it a couple of times as well to really love it. But it's it's a cool song. It's one of the better, well, one of the best ones here on the album, I think. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the, his different, the how he switched up his vocals. I really liked that too, just because it really added to the whole emotion behind the the chorus. Uh, yeah, how it changes, right? <laughs> it's pretty pretty mm-hmm. dope. Like that's yeah, that harsh. Yeah. Okay, next one is Was ich liebe. My first impression of that, uh, it, it gets stuck in your head. It's catchy, I think, uh, with this mm-hmm. Was ich liebe, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, let, let's uh, share your first impression and then look at the lyrics. Um, when I first heard it, I, the, yeah, the musical, like musically, it was catchy. Just a very easy uh, melody to get stuck in your head. Um, the lyrics, it seems it's like, uh, what do you want to call it? Basically, he doesn't want to be happy because being happy makes him upset because you have to lose it. In the end, because everything ends. <laughs> or what... what 
Ja, yeah. exactly. uh, yeah, like, was ich liebe, das wird verderben. Was ich liebe, das muss auch sterben. Muss sterben. So what I love, that will go bad, basically. Uh, what I love, that has to die, has to die. I am not allowed to love, then I don't have to suffer. No, and no heart breaks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty obvious, I suppose, <laughs> what this song is about. Then. Yeah. Heartbreak and not wanting to love anymore, maybe after a bad experience yeah, like, it could be he doesn't want to love anymore because i think maybe experience knowing that you know something something could be really good and then it turns into something really bad or, or painful even if it doesn't end badly it could just the fact that it ends is what hurts yeah i mean a bad heartbreak can definitely f for for a long time at least uh, make you mm -hmm. feel like ah, it's not worth it it's just too painful when when shit goes down basically or unavoidably in the end uh, ends one way or another uh either with old age or with someone else which is more likely to to end the the love yeah. so um yeah pretty straightforward uh i like the song it's good um mm -hmm. get stuck in your head uh, it's something i think that fans will love to sing along to and like when, when it comes to live gigs and stuff like that as well. So it's pretty easy mm -hmm. as well, the chorus. Yeah, the melody itself is a pretty easy one to yeah. follow. Oh yeah, if you have any comments on like musically uh, speaking, mm -hmm. anything like that, then feel free. Don't wait for me, just interject. <clears throat> <laughs> Because I, I'm not a musician, I don't know. Uh, very very uh, pessimistic song again as well. Yeah, it is. Sad, but yeah, pessimistic for mm. sure. Anyway, okay, Diamant is next and seems to be like the ballad of this whole album. Um, pretty quiet, and he, uh, well, sometimes he just talks, he doesn't really sing that much, like Via Diamant, right? It's not like mm -hmm. real singing, uh, Sprechgesang, I guess we would call it in German. That just uh, I, mm -hmm. I just really quickly listened to parts of it again. That just yeah, I noticed that. What do you think? Yeah, I mean it's not a, a super loud song or anything like that, but it's um it's yeah it's a relatively quiet one. Uh, I don't mind it because mm -hmm. it's like a different uh, tone once again after all these intense uh, ones like Puppe for example or just mm -hmm. after Puppe I suppose. Uh, or was ich liebe is very pessimistic and then via ein diamante just talks about like a diamond oh wait <laughs> like a diamond <laughs> like that other pop song uh mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's more positive i suppose well in a way it is but then at the very end he drops this one sentence where he well he says uh so i have the lyrics as well so schön anzusehen wie ein Diamant, doch bitte lass mich gehen. Welche Kraft, was für ein Schein. Wunderschön wie ein Diamant, doch nur ein Stein. I should let you read all so. the lyrics here. Your German is way better. <laughs> Damn. Not better than... Um, I mean, uh, it's good. It's very good. No, no, not better than yours. It's just better than it's, it was. It's very nice anyway. <laughs> doch nur ein Stein in the end. Yeah, okay. So he builds up this whole thing, this whole diamond thing, how nice it is. Uh, and talks yeah. about it like very detailed the whole time and then at the end it's only a stone ah. yeah that's the thing like he like builds it up like oh wow you're this amazing thing your eyes draw my soul and blah 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 and yeah but you're because i mean a diamond is essentially just a stone yeah basically and uh <laughs> artificially made more expensive so yeah i've heard mm. that i mean i'm not i actually don't know if that's true but it would make sense that someone would do that to make money so yeah 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 mm, the well, they're they're actually that's a whole other topic. What I'm gonna say is, as far as diamonds are, as far as, far as diamonds go, they're just they're a difficult uh, process uh, to go through. So I think it's probably much easier to come across a, an artificially created diamond than it is to get a real one. Oh, for one. sure. Yeah. The, the lyrics themselves, um, I like because they're kind of I, I don't know pretty, I suppose. Like, on dieses Funkeln deiner Augen will die Seele aus mir saugen, and that sparkle in your eyes wants to suck the soul out of out of me i don't know it's just very interesting uh i like him uh maybe a bit a bit cheesy at some point but yeah well that's what i, that's what I like yeah. about though is that it's um is that it's it's set up the whole time like there's such a like a cheesy little like the way you would imagine a guy singing gently to like his lover or wife or girlfriend or whomever uh 
in like a cheesy personal way and then at the very end just this kind of somewhat dark twist like a sudden change of character but you're just a stone like i, I like that at the end that just a change this entire thing building up like this pretty little song and then ah but no. yeah <laughs> i mean this is i guess this could be also uh be interpreted in a way that they they mean a person or anything that people hype a lot and in the end like uh, even a movie star is just a person with problems and stuff like that in the end or anything yeah. that people uh hype up too much is just a thing in the end or something in the end yeah i agree that's actually something i hadn't considered that it maybe isn't a person but could yeah exactly be anything yeah that you build up Okay, the next song is Weit Weg, um, the ninth song on the album, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of the, well, actually, they're all around four minutes something. So um, it's not one of the longest, but not one of the shortest. That would be Diamant, it's only two minutes something. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> in, with this song, I like the chorus the most, I think. Uh, it, it's, it's a solid song. Not my favorite, but a uh, good song. What did you think? Yeah, I agree. Like it's, um, I think lyrically it's fine. The music is perfectly fine. It's just, um, I think from the album by itself, I, I prefer some of the other songs. Um, I like that in the chorus, they have this burr, 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 this, what is it? A synthesizer or something? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I, I like the, the chorus where he says, ganz nah, so weit weg von hier. I don't know. That's kind of catchy as well. Um, mm -hmm. I like that. Oh yeah, that part that 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 ganz nah. Yeah. The thing that it's like this nice little up and then like a distension that the sounds. Really yeah, cool. I think I think that was great. Man, I wish I could mm -hmm. describe music more detailed. <laughs> 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 I need to learn that from you. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's much to interpret into this song necessarily. It does it have a major uh, theme. Maybe this. It sounds like a peeping tom, basically. It does. It does. It's like, is this a peeping tom song? It could be because like he's so close yet so far, like so close physically but so far from actually being with her. Yeah, and uh, er nimmt die Gläser oh. vom Gesicht, it says here. Uh, he takes the glasses oh, from yeah, his face. Maybe the binoculars, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Could be. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Well, uh, might be. I mean, it's Rammstein. Could just be a song about a peeping Tom. Maybe we are, we don't see the bigger picture here, but... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, it, also the, the chorus, ganz nah, so weit weg von hier... And then, and then later it says, uh, so weit weg von dir, so far away from you. Oh, yeah. Um, so it, yeah, it, it sounds like it could be. Okay, next up is Tattoo, the 10th song on this album. And uh, it's another very heavy song, so obviously I like it. <laughs> it has a catchy uh, chorus as well. With So when the blood kisses the ink and when pain hugs the flesh. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious what they're talking about here. And maybe some people yeah. will say, eh, this could have been more detailed or more like, I don't know, more more deep, deeper. Mm -hmm. But I don't mind if a song is just straightforward sometimes, as long as it's good uh, from like what it sounds like and all of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like this song. What did you think about Tattoo? I thought it was pretty <clears throat> straightforward. I do like near the end, though. Where he says, I have the lyrics here, it says, Deinen Namen steche ich mir, dann bist du für immer hier, aber wenn du uns entweist, suche ich mir jemanden, der genau so Yeah, that's weiß. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what that means is, uh, I'll get your name as a tattoo, uh, then you're here forever. But if you break us up, basically, then I'll just look for someone that has the same name. <laughs> it's called the same. Uh, <laughs> It reminds me of that meme that modern was it modern problems require modern solutions. I always think about that when someone gets a name, like, will, will they now forever just get girlfriends or boyfriends with that name? I mean, I guess you have to get, get it lasered. There's no way around it. Yeah. Or covered. Or covered. Yeah. One or the other. I just, or, or even better, just don't do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it, please, guys and girls out there. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, Mm. Yeah, any, I don't know. Any more thoughts about tattoo? I think it's it's a song about getting a tattoo. I'll show you like 
it has a more of that tongue in cheek approach that like the typical um if you show me yours i'll show mm. you mine that's like a typical thing like you know they say that like teenagers say to each other about showing each or even like kids like showing each other their their genitals or whatever they all oh, if you show me Kind of what <laughs> people yeah, do? I don't know if they say it in German, but people in English, this is a thing that not that I know this personally, but I'm just saying. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's what yeah, that's in German. I think in German too. Yeah. That's why he says it, I suppose. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. I mean, insofar it could have a sexual meaning again, um, or just about the tattoo. I mean, with Rammstein, I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. Yeah, well, I think it's I think it's just a double entendre where it's just like, yeah, it's. The, the phrase I'll show you yours if you, uh, I'll show you mine if you, thing and then that he's actually talking about tattoos but it's just kind of cheeky sounding yeah. um wer schön sein will, uh, yeah this this part of the lyrics I liked as well wer schön sein muss der will auch leiden so who has like the the, the person that wants to be oh no that has to be beautiful that uh, wants to suffer as well I'm I'm not mm -hmm. sure well, that exactly means, but I kind of liked it. I don't know, because usually there's a saying in German, wer schön sein will, der muss auch leiden. Uh, so mm. the person that wants to be beautiful has to suffer. But here it says... Mm -hmm. well, it's, or beauty is pain. It's yeah, so beauty is pain. But he, here yeah, it's uh, the other way around, kind of. The, well, if you, want, if you must... If you be, must be beautiful, then you want to suffer yeah um <clears throat> i'm not sure what that could uh what could that could mean exactly though is there any deeper meaning behind it it could be that sentence by itself could be reinterpreted probably multiple mm. ways but i think in the context of a song it's talking about like if you want if you must be beautiful like with your tattoo to, to cover yourself then you also have to want to hurt because there's no way around it, tattoos hurt. Yeah, and to be honest, I know some people um, uh, who really love the feeling of that mm. pain because in their brain there's something mixed up where they, uh, when they experience uh, pain, also pleasure. And some people are really into it and that's mm. why they get so many tattoos. Um, and uh, sadly, I also knew people who self-harmed and really loved getting tattoos as at the same time not at the same time as a yeah. self harm but i mean you know what i mean yeah. uh so yeah, I don't, yeah you. I don't know it could have to do with that i'm not sure well the whole the whole self harm thing i've heard is that um people it's not necessarily a direct correlation like if you get a tattoo or piercing it doesn't necessarily mean you're trying to self harm but they do say that people that want to self harm will use tattoos and piercings as a way to do it basically yeah and uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's sad, but I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to think of uh, other interpretations yeah, here. Mm. But then he continues to say, and only the death will separate, uh, and uh, death won't be able to separate us. And all the pictures on my skin um, are like my children. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, after death, you will still have your tattoos, I suppose, mm -hmm. if you don't believe that uh, any spirit will leave the body and stuff like that, then you're still in the ground with your tattoos for sure, yep. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they, they found that one mummy. I can't remember where it's from, but there was a, a female mummy that was found, and she still has her tattoo. They, they, her skin was well-preserved, and they actually had the tattoos on really? her. Really? Wait, yeah. what? I can't remember what, the name. What but... culture was it from? What, what culture had tattoos? Oh, I can't remember. I mean, many, like Maori and uh, stuff like that, right? Many. Maori. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, I can't remember where she's from. I want to say it was in Mongolia, but I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know for sure. But I'm sure someone in the comments will. That's fascinating. The most badass mummy, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Metal. So metal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so true. And last but not least, we got the song number 10, Hello Man. Uh, well, it's a good song, but also, again, really dark. <laughs> Uh, Jocelyn actually said before that uh, it is sung by T. Lindemann from the perspective of the perpetrator because this song is about child abuse as well. A specific, uh, I think, uh, girl, little girl gets abused in this song. Or is... Abducted. What? Abducted. Yeah, abducted. abducted. Yeah, yeah, we... Yeah, the, the pre-stages, I suppose. Yeah, pretty straightforward again. What did you think about the song? Musically, I enjoyed it. The, the lyrics, of course... 
it only it starts bad and just gets worse for the theme itself. It's like it starts with child abduction and ends with murder. Mm. Um, at least as far as I was able to interpret it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's anything that's not that that's unusual for them. As far as we've also just been seeing with this album, that they're not afraid to go there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, they have in the past crossed lines, uh, so I, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like. A, well, they're dancing on the line, others. basically. <laughs> yeah, well, they have that other <clears throat> song. Um, I think it was "Spiel mit mir." Play with me. It was another? Which was yeah? It was from a different album. Where you're towing the line because I think it's also from a. It's it's a, it's it's another inappropriate incestuous sort of perspective. But the point is, is that. They're no stranger to, stranger to these types of uh, themes. From, oh, it's from, uh, Sehnsucht. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, it's longing. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they definitely had themes like that before, for sure. Uh, and then this song, like you said, it's about, well, a ad child abduction. What makes you think mm. that the kid gets murdered? Because they sing about hell in the end? Um, well, because he says... Uh, I'm not sure if that means that he drowned her. Because he's uh. saying at the beginning, um, es ist so, es ist schon warm und du bist schön und hast das mir noch nicht gesehen. Du bist alleine, ich ganz allein. Sprich nicht zu mir, steig einfach ein. So he's abducting her and asking her, have you seen the sea? Or the, the that, that's, yeah, the sea. Um, also he thinks about how he buys her m muscles, like muscheln. Uh, yeah, muscheln mit, mit Pommes Fritz. And then saying, und du hast das Meer, das Meer noch nicht gesehen. So I'm thinking it's like, he's going to give her treats. And Muschel, I think, is also a double entendre from what I've learned um, for what that means. But at the point, the point is, is that he's he's taking her, like steig einfach ein, so get into whatever the vehicle is. But she's never seen the sea. He's going to show it to her. At least that's the, the promise. Um, Sag einfach nichts und mach es auch. Gib mir dein Wort in meine Hand. Wir bauen was Schönes aus Haut und Sand. Ah, we'll okay. So, we'll build something from skin and sand. He says. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then don't say anything, get in the car, and at the very end he says, or get in the, whatever it is, or driving, and then at the end he says, often mm, in dein Gesang, so in the waves or your voice. Hmm, very dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. And don't ask me why, frag nicht nach dem Sinn. I think, at least that's was my interpretation, was that he abducts a girl upon the premise of, of getting her gifts, and then in the end murders her and leaves her, puts her body into the into the sea. And her waves, her, her voice is carried on the waves because he also tells her to to sing. Songs like then, songs like this make me wonder what, like, how do they choose what they sing about? Why do they mm -hmm. choose songs for their albums? Like, <clears throat> of course, child abduction is terrible, and uh, but <clears throat> what made them put this into this album? I wonder sometimes. Yeah, like, what's the whole, uh, yeah, inspiration for the album? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, with Zeigtich, for example, I mean, since it is always kind of in the news, it was recently, I think, again in the news, right? Um, that the mm -hmm. church, I think, uh, didn't the Pope say he condemns it or something like that? I'm not sure, but... Or the... Yeah, but I mean, it, it was years, at least with Zeigtich, it was years of, of um, abuse where <clears throat> the people, the perpetrators of this abuse, instead of being excommunicated or, or actually facing trial, were usually just kind of moved yeah. around. So. Um, so I guess, yeah, to, to shed light on that again, uh, that's important. I agree. Uh, and yeah, maybe it's just when they feel like a topic has to surface again and has mm -hmm. to talked about, uh, be talked about more again. <laughs> uh, it could just be that these topics are very important to them personally. Um, like with this whole i mean maybe I don't, we don't know the i i don't know at least the backstory of uh, them and their families and maybe friends and, and maybe something happened there and that's what the inspiration for that was or they just know of people i'm not sure what it could be that's mm -hmm. always fascinating to me why artists choose their songs yeah, like what or, or like sometimes one person's interpretation might <coughs> seem really spot on according to the general consensus but then they ask the person who wrote it and that's not at all what they meant like what you said earlier so i don't know 
why they did what they did. Like, there's certain songs where it's like, with, like with Deutschland, we already discussed that one at length before, but I feel like that one was had a lot of elements to it, but ultimately, um, I think was in, able to be interpreted, and maybe one could determine why they would write such a song. But stuff like abducting a child and then her her ended up de- ending up dead. I don't know. Yeah, was this like a personal thing? Is this a reference to something, or is this just them? writing darker stuff as they've always done could be either of that or any of that yeah well they've never they've never shied away from it too like they've never shied away from certain themes or concepts like i said like the other one like with attribute me it's it's about it's an incestuous sort of relationship that these siblings have with each other and it's like with like playing whatever and it's not always because i I know there's other rounds more based on or have some sort of basis in uh, traditional German folk tales or story tales like um, Reise Reise is from like Erlenkönig mm. for example but then there's other ones like yeah just other songs where it's not or like Mein Herz brennt is a really good song as well but it's not like as dark it's just dark in a different way or like Rosenrot was also an interesting song as well. I mean, the video is, is that goes with it explains it even better. So I'm I'm curious after our interpretations if they'll have more videos that show what these songs are about. I hope so. Um, I mean, we actually thought about doing a video for uh, Ausländer, but then thought it might not actually have enough content for that. Not really. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could uh, maybe at another day though. <laughs> Yeah. We'll see. It's yeah. pretty late already here. Uh, and we've right. talked now for one hour and almost 20 minutes about all of this. Um, yeah. I mean, that's the, the problem when you want to do a video like this, where you, you can't talk about everything in 100% detail all the time for every song. Uh, this was just okay. basically our first impression with a little bit of discussion. I hope we didn't overdo it with the discussion or did, I mean, I don't yeah. know. Probably did too little. I don't. I don't even know. Maybe you guys can tell us if this was okay or not. And if you want more videos like this in the future for uh, future albums, maybe different German bands, uh, that would be fine as well. But I don't think Rammstein will <laughs> release any new album anytime soon. <laughs> but we'll definitely come back to this when they uh, publish new videos that really, uh, well, just interesting and open for interpretation. Uh, that I want to do for sure. And if you're up for it, Jesslyn, then yeah. uh, thank you very much. We can do that too. Um, I think, I mean, do you have any, any last words about it? or? Um, I recommend that everybody gives it a, at least a listen and think about it. And I would be interested to know what other people's interpretations are because there's definitely some stuff that I'm sure we missed. Yeah, I mean, that's also the point of this kind of video. I want to know the thoughts of the community, right? Maybe there's people, like you Mm -hmm. said, who have found out about uh, very hidden details in certain songs that we briefly discussed now. Like I said, this is not an in-depth discussion necessarily. It's more like uh, brushing over the different songs, having a look, even our impressions, all of that. So uh, yeah, if you have anything that you want to discuss in the comments, feel free. I'm more than happy to read and other people probably too and uh, comment and, and discuss with you. So do that, mm-hmm. do that. Uh, Jessla, anything you want to plug at the end of this? Um, probably just my band, because that's all I really have going right now. Well, that's a lot already, <laughs> so more than I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a band. <laughs> well, my, my band is called Stories Untold. So it's stories with a, a colon mm. and then untold. And we're a progressive, melodic, core metal band from northern Germany and are trying to, uh, yeah. Get some shows. Going. And you now have, and hopefully we record now it. you have actually something that people can listen to as well. I listened to that on Facebook. Yeah. And it's on SoundCloud, but uh, yeah. Yes. Do you want me to link it's, that or well, do you want to wait until the studio recording or what? That's, that's, that's fine as it is. Like uh, the, re- the studio recording might not be for some time yet. So we have that now just so people have an idea of what we sound like and realize that we're still active. 
Yeah, but if you guys want to listen to Jesslyn's band, I'll definitely put all the li necessary links in the video description. Anyway, thank you so much, Jesslyn, for well uh, participating in this one. Your, uh, your, your, how do you say? It? Your thoughts are always uh, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, until we see each other again, uh, guys and girls out there of the Germ Fam and new people, welcome. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, of course. Notification bell, all the good stuff. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed our discussion. Check out Jesslyn's band. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.